Here's a quick review of lesson one in module one. And the objective was that we would be able to concretely and pictorially use place value understanding to relate adjacent base 10 units from millions to thousands. And as you can see in 1A right here, the problem has then been done for us. You had four and 582 thousands times 10. So we know that this number is going to get bigger because we're multiplying by 10. And if you notice here, when we multiply by 10, it was one place value and it moved over. The four now is, let me just make this a little bit smaller. Four is now times 10, five is times 10, eight is times 10, and the two is times 10, causing them to each number to move over Excuse me move over one place value. So now the four went from the ones place to the tens place. The five went from the tenths place to the ones place. The eight went from the hundredths place to the tenths place. And the two went from the thousandths place to the hundredths place. All right, to give us our answer of 45 and 82 hundredths. All right, and a quick check. The way that I quickly check is, let's go ahead and erase this. I know that there's one zero in that 10, so this number is gonna get bigger, so my decimal is gonna uh, appear to be between the four and the five to give me, I'm sorry, between the five and the eight move from between the four and the five to the five and the eight to give us our answer. All right, so quickly, I'm going to do the same thing with these last two. And remember, the operation is multiplication, so the number is going to get bigger. Here, so let's write this number in. You have seven. Don't forget to write your decimal in. The decimal's here, but you have to write those decimals in. I will go ahead and write them all in. So we have seven and 281 thousandths times 100. Now we have two zeros here. So that's going to be, it's going to grow from 10 times 10, because 10 times 10 is 100. I'm going to just write that up here so I can have room to put my answer. So now I know my seven is going to go from my ones place all the way to my hundreds place, because it grew times 10 and then times 10 again, which is the same thing as times 100. Two is going to move from my tens place all the way to my tens place. Eight is going to move all the way from my hundreds place to my ones place. And one is going to move from my thousands to my tenths. Don't forget to write your times 100 because we did 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100 there so that you know your new answer or your final answer is 728 and one-tenth. All right, last but not least, last multiplication. This number is going to get bigger. When you're multiplying something, the number is getting bigger. So we have nine and 254 thousandths times one, two, three zeros. So that's going to be one, two, three jumps because it's 10 times 10 times 10. And remember, if you have 10 times 10, that's equal to 100. And then times another 10 is equal to 1,000. That's how we're getting those three jumps. This is a base 10 unit. So it's basically telling us that whatever's in this base or this base 10 unit here for my ones place is going to be 10 times smaller than whatever's in my tens place. For example, if I had a $1, I would have to multiply that by 10 to get to $10. If I had $10, I would have to multiply that by 10 to get to $100 and so forth. And it works in the opposite way as you'll see on the next slide. So let's go ahead and move that one, two, three places. So my arrow's gonna point there. It'll be 9,250. Four. 
for my total, my final answer. Moving on to the division, which is the opposite direction. So when you divide something, it's going to get smaller. If you had two pieces of cake and you shared it with somebody, it would be impossible for you to get or have more than two pieces of cake when you were done sharing. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So division, I know my numbers are going to be moving that way on the place value chart. I have 100, so I know that I'm going to move two times or two exponents, which is 10 times 10, 10 to the second power. We'll learn about that in lesson three. 10 to the second power equals 100, or 10 times 10 equals 100. And we have, make sure you line these numbers up. I noticed on the, the exit ticket, students were lining these numbers up incorrectly. This first digit has to be lined up correctly. If you, for example, put this in the wrong place, and you put this like this, this decimal place is now saying it's not, it's no longer 678. This is now 67 and 8 tenths. That would be $67 and 8 dimes. So that's that's very important that you line these numbers up on your place value charts correctly. Like I said, I will go ahead and put my decimals in if you have a chart that looks similar to this, and then put that number in. Let's go ahead. We know it's two places, so that's going to be divided by 10 and then divided by 10. Now, since it's divided by, or we're dividing, this number is going to get smaller. So this six that was in the hundreds place is going to move one, two places backwards, so that the number is getting smaller to my ones place. Don't forget to put the divided by 100 symbol, because it's a 10, to 10, you divide by 10 once, and then you divide by 10 again, which ultimately is saying you're dividing by 100, and I'm sorry, I had the multiplication sign there, and that should be a division sign. And let's do it again. So you're dividing by 10 twice. You don't have to write it out that way, but you're dividing by 10 twice, which is going to give you your 100 here. We have our 7 is in our, moving from our 10s place to our 10s place, and our 8 is moving from our 1s place to our 100s place for a new number of 6 and 78 hundredths. We don't say point. It's not 6.78. It's 6 and, because you have 6 holes and 78 hundredths of a hole. So that would be 78 over 100, 78 parts out of 100 for your final answer. And for C, similar. Now we have 3. We know we're dividing, so it's going to get smaller. You got to make sure you line that number up, that number in the correct place value slots. We have six tens and seven ones. And now I'm going to move over. I'm going to divide by a thousand. So I'm dividing by 10. Then I'm dividing by 10 again. Then I'm dividing by 10 again, which is the same thing as dividing by 1,000. So now this six is going to move over one, two, three slots and end up right here. This is going to be a placeholder. You can put a placeholder here if you want to. I always put my placeholder in my zeros. You don't have to fill in the zeros here. You can if you want to, but it's a waste of time. Once you have a zero there and nothing in these slots, you know that that's equal to zero. You have no holes. So our new number is 67 thousandths. 67 thousandths. Any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I will comment or answer questions in the comment by the close of business on Friday.